there's been a little bit of uh, criticism again, uh, not necessarily from counselors, but um, about a comment you made about, you know, if they have a problem with something, uh, you know, come and see me, we can talk about it. Yeah, I don't know why that's a problem. <laughs> right, well, uh, not, to yes. you, not to no, you. No, no, but, but uh, yeah, and so uh, there's a few things to that. I mean, again, uh, I'm, you know, health and safety of our residents is, is my priority. And the declaration, you know, the decision to enter into a state of emergency is, uh, is the mayor's purview. Yeah. And so I made that back in March. Um, you know, it is my decision, or it could be a council directive under the um, uh, Ontario Emergency Management Act. It could be a direction of council to lift that. Uh, basically, you know, my whole point was if there's questions about why we're still in a state of emergency, come talk to me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, just rather than going through the media where things aren't, you know, you don't always get the whole context, you don't always get, you know, the accurate picture of what's going on. Yeah. Uh, and so I think it is unfortunate. Uh, and irresponsible that you know some members of the media are trying to take that and shift it into uh, you know being uh, you know some kind of controversy. Yeah. You know, There's I've no always had an open door policy. Yes. And so, and I reach out to councillors on a regular basis. There, there's no attempt to muzzle anybody. <laughs> Well, and th even if I wanted to, I know that I couldn't do that. I mean, anybody that's been in this position knows, you know, that that, and nor would I want to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, this, you know, uh, the email that, you know, was referenced, which came originally, you know, there was originally a, from our CAO, which was a confidential email. Yes. Uh, and so that's, you know, also questionable how that's getting quoted. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, basically it was just, you know, if you have questions or concerns about why we're still in a state of emergency, yes. come talk to me. Yeah. You know, I'd appre and I'd, it's a common courtesy to get a heads up if people, you know, are questioning what you're doing. Yeah. That's fine. I don't expect everybody to agree with me all the time. I've been in this, I've been on council for six years. I know that that's not ever going to happen. Right. Um, but I'm not, you know, I will not compromise on the health and safety of the residents of our community. Okay. And my concern was around any mixed messaging that might come from that. Uh, to me, that's not acceptable.